I make a lot of sea fishing weights. Here are the two most popular designs, the bell or the cone and the sphere or ball. They're made in a two-part mould and in the process of casting them up I cast in stainless steel hoops in order so that it can be attached to the line. I'll start with the manufacturer of these loops. Over here we have a small guillotine. Very simple device. I buy the wire in 100 meter rolls and the wire is pushed through a hole up to the stop and then that, the lever push smartly forward and hopefully it goes in the bucket. Push it up again and we keep going like this. And as you can see, get a rhythm going in a very short time you can have several hundred. I make all the loops standardised whatever weights I'm making. There's nothing special about this steel, it's not hardened. It's just a shearing action. Anyway, I'm sure you've got the idea by now. Very simple. Having cut all our wires to length, it's now a simple matter of putting a bend in them. It's a small jig I've made here. The wire is placed in like so. And then turned to produce a, a loop. There's our loop. And in order that it doesn't come out of the lead, it's placed in the holes and bent over at 90 degrees. Do some more. Making them in a jig like this means that they fit the moulds and you can't fiddle about too much when they're hot. that this makes life much easier. Quite therapeutic really. Anyway, the idea is to... There's always one, isn't there? Get in there. Do another one. Very little effort involved. One little bender. This two part mould I've left open so that you can see its construction. The rest of the moulds have been closed and have been fitted with their wire loops ready to receive the molten lead. The roar you can hear is the lead being melted in a plumber's cast iron pot. So we transfer the lead to the moulds. Look behind the camera, not in front. There we go. And if I've got a steady hand, there's one. Here's two. Let's get some more. Three. Four. Might as well do the other two. Oops, a little there, but that'll be okay. 
I'll just turn the gas off. Get rid of that roar. That's better. And we'll open up the moulds. They're be hot, so I'll use pliers. And there we have a ball weight. And another one. Cone. Larger cone. Another ball. Wow, I'm sure you've got the idea. These are very hot, so I'm not going to handle them. But when they're cooked down, they really have to be trimmed up. Here's a few I made earlier. And this piston is cutting off. Just a pair of pliers sharpened up with some leverage. Hey presto, one weight. This one, it's not a very elegant tool, but I've never found the need to make anything better. Watch my fingers. Anyway, that's the process. No, I'll leave that one. That's the process of making sea fishing weights. Hope you found that interesting.